Hey guys, welcome back. I am excited to be filming this video today because it's actually been top of mind right now because of things opening back up and traveling again. And I don't know about you guys, but I have a ton of weddings that were rescheduled for this year that are coming up this summer. So I've been thinking about the, my favorite travel bags. And so today's video is really gonna touch on not only the ones that I have, but the ones that I have my eye on or I've lusted over in the past. So if that's at all interesting to you guys and you're thinking about maybe adding a travel bag to your collection, stay tuned and I hope you enjoy today's video. <laughs> So I have my trusty Agenda GM. This is the largest size. I know that a lot of you love this style planner. Um, I will eventually do like a <laughs> how I use it and what my inserts look like eventually, but it's a little messy right now. So I figured I'd keep it to myself, but I have written down here the the list of like not only just the bags that I have here with me today to show you guys, but also just kind of like what I've looked at in the past and why I think these bags are good travel bags. So first one is actually my newest edition and it is the Keep All 45. So if you've seen one of my recent videos, it's actually um, the fashion file unboxing video where I purchased this Keep All 45 in the Makassar color with the regular monogram, but it has true Makassar fashion. It has a silver hardware. So I actually purchased this pre-loved from Fashion File. Now, um, I've always loved the duffel look from Louis Vuitton, but the reason why I chose to go with the Makassar look or style is because of wear and tear and I kind of thought that just having the black leather pieces would help it last longer and look you know not as worn and I wouldn't have to worry about color you know getting stained or the leather getting um, discolored anything like that so for those reasons I went with the keep all 45. Now for why I went with keep all 45 versus that 55 because that's the only two sizes they have is that I'm a petite person, so when I am wearing this bag, I don't want it to like look ridiculous. I don't want to feel uncomfortable, but I also wanted it to fit under the seat in front of me on a plane. So we're getting back on planes, we're traveling again, and I've always carried my designer items with me on the plane. I never check them. So I wanted something that could hold my laptop and any bags or accessories that I wanted to keep on me and on person, on my person, on the plane. So this was a perfect option for me. And for all the sliding underneath, uh, I just wanted it to be black so that I wouldn't have to worry about it getting scuffed or anything like that. So um, I recommend too, if you guys are looking at keep balls, look pre-loved, Fashion File has so many, but also you can find some really good condition ones in the regular leather and that's honestly my that was gonna be my second favorite bag for travel is the keep all i think it comes in like 50 is the actual size or the 45 and the 50 for the regular monogram and the vachetta leather version so i originally thought that i would get this one and be fine and not really care or think about the regular leather version but the more that i see it online I just love it and I actually like that vintage look. So on my wish list is a second duffel, maybe like a size larger, maybe the 50, but I also wouldn't mind having two 45s, but with the gold hardware and the regular leather, the Vachetta leather, with it being pre-loved, it will have already patinaed, which I like. And honestly, like I'll apple guard it to prevent any further staining, but if it's stained at the bottom, I would be okay with it. I just don't want to have to be too fussy with these bags, but I am just so loving this duffel. I think it's so easy to pack things in. Um, I actually have, surprise, surprise. It's actually stuffed right now. 
which I usually keep like my bags stuffed when I'm not grabbing them too often in travel bags. We don't grab too, too often, but I have a Samorga organizer in here and I'm actually going to film soon a, like what I put in and how I pack my keep all 45 for you guys, just because I think a lot of you are similar, like maybe you travel and then you need to bring your computer for work or, um, you want to pack your accessories in here. I will definitely film one for you, but the organizer has made this bag have such a nice shape. And then I just stuff it to keep it from getting wrinkly or flattened. So honestly, I'm loving this bag. I think this is number one best travel option in luxury and getting it pre-loved, save a little bit of money. And I think you can't go wrong. Okay, so second on my list is actually the On The Go GM. And I actually like it in the canvas with the large monogram print with like the reverse monogram on the sides, but I also like it in the leather. Really the only stipulation for it being travel is that it's the GM size. So I have the on the go GM in the black, it's called Noir on print leather, but this is the GM size. So honestly, let's compare it to the keep ball because I feel it's a good size comparison. It's like it's a decent comparison in size to the Keep All 45. Um, but what I really like about this bag is its structure and its durability. So it's this square shape. You can fit so much in these bags. Now I have the leather version. So I think for travel, the canvas might be a better option because leather can scratch. The canvas from Louis Vuitton is so, so durable and scratch resistant that I think it would be a great bag for travel. But I also plan on traveling with this bag because it fits laptops, it can fit clothes, it can fit anything that you wanna carry on with you. Whether or not you're going on a road trip or you're going on an overnight trip, there's a lot that fits in this bag. It's a really, really great travel option. And the main selling point is the longer straps. So. You know, when we're traveling, we're carrying a lot of heavy things. This bag helps it be more comfortable. So the weight is a little bit better distributed uh, with the longer straps and they're really soft, soft leather. So really this bag is a no brainer. Um, it's, I believe it's like slightly more expensive than the keep all. So still number one is the keep all, but having this bag and using it quite often this would make a great travel bag in the large size. So monogram or leather, you can't go wrong, but the GM size is the one. So number three is actually a bag that I don't have, but I have had my eye on it. So I want your opinion on this bag. So number three is actually the Dior book tote in the largest size. So I've seen it on Instagram, I've seen reviews on it, I see people traveling with it when I'm in the airport, but I've never seen it in person. So I'm worried that I may not love it as much in person, but if you have this bag and you use it for travel, please let me know how it's wearing and how it's doing and how you like it for travel. Um, the reasons why I like it and I've had my eye on it is the different colorways that it comes in, the cool designs, I also like that it's more of a canvasy type of material. Now, I don't know if it's better to have leather or the monogram canvas versus that fabric type of material that it's made out of, but I really like it. I like the shape. It's very similar to the On The Go GM in its boxiness. And I just feel like it would be really carefree. And then if you go on a beach vacation, I feel like it's the perfect bag to put like your beach essentials in and then take it out when you're walking around or you're just going from, you know, hotel to beach. I just, I love the bag. So my only con on the bag is the straps. I think there's only the top handles. So what do you guys do for those of you that have that bag? How do you feel about it not having a longer strap option? Is that something that you would like to see in the future from Dior? or does it not bother you? Do you feel like the bag is light enough that you can just kind of like carry it on the crook of your arm? So yes, number three is the Dior book tote, but there's no Dior here, so I have not actually seen it in person, but that would be number three. Okay, so 
Number four is actually a bag I don't have as well. Um, it is the Louis Vuitton Horizon roller bag. Now, I've seen it in two sizes. I've seen it in the 50 and the 55, and I think they're both great sizes. I will look at the price difference and kind of consider if it's something that I wouldn't mind sizing up in. But take into consideration as well is that it is not a bag that I would ever check. So it has to be a right, the right size that I could carry on. Um, also, if I'm just doing a road trip or traveling in the car, I think it'd be fine. But I love it in both the regular Vachetta with the monogram, and I also like it in the Macassar with the silver hardware. So they're a little pricier for being a travel bag, and I don't see them too often on the pre-loved market. So if you guys have this bag, please let me know if you had if you would have gone with a different color than the one you have, or if you like the type of colorway that it's in, tell me which one it is and why. I just think this bag is stunning. It is quintessential. You know, Louis Vuitton is known for luggage. Now, obviously the luggage cases, but I just think for travel, Louis Vuitton is just so beautiful. I think they do it better than anyone else. And I think having a hard-sided roller luggage would be a dream to have. So I don't have it on a upcoming wish list, but it's definitely been on my mind and I think it's just a great travel bag. It's got, you know, the monogram canvas, which is pretty durable, but you know, definitely keep in mind when you are traveling that it would definitely be a carry on bag. So if you're okay with getting it placed above the seat in those compartments <laughs> above us, the cargo compartments, compartments, um, you know, making sure that you're okay with your bag getting kind of roughed up a little bit. You never know what kind of bag it's gonna rub up against. So definitely in those two colors, the Horizon 50 or 55 are just stunning. Okay, and so number five is actually, I feel like controversial because a lot of people love this bag and a lot of people don't, but I've had this bag for so long. It was my first luxury bag and I love it. I just don't think I could ever part ways because it's a great, travel bag. So number five is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I have it in the MM, so it's a great travel bag, but I feel as though the GM would be an even better travel bag. So I've traveled with it on planes, putting it underneath the seat in front of me and taking it to the beach, <laughs> taking it to the beach with lotion and all my essentials in there, but I've also taken it to work. So it's been a great bag overall, but I feel as though a travel bag it is for the price point. I wouldn't mind like throwing it around a little bit. Um, definitely spraying the Vachetta with Apple Guard, but the other colorways like the uh, Damier Ben would be a great option as well because of the dark leather accents. And I kind of have my eye on a GM because of its practicality. So, you know, with the on the go and the Neverfull, they don't have zippers that can make sure all your things don't come out. So that's a, a little bit of a downfall, but a lot of these bags that we're talking about today, unless they're a duffel or a true suitcase, like rolling suitcase, they don't really close all the way. But for travel, I think it's good. You can grab things in and out, and it actually can like expand more with, and hold a little bit more because it doesn't have a zipper to make sure it shuts properly. They all have clasps. So I don't really mind. I don't, you know, I keep my bags really close to me, so I don't mind having that open tote. I just think it fits more and it looks more like a travel bag, but definitely number five is the Louis Vuitton MM or GM. Now, let me know if you have the GM, does it fit in front of the seat? Does it fit in the seat in front of you on a plane? I need to know this because I think that would be a game changer. I know the MM does, I use it all the time and it's a great bag to just throw into the car as well and be able to reach in if you're doing a road trip. So that is number five. Okay, so last on my list for best travel bags is actually the Chanel Duval bag. I have seen this in person. I think it's beautiful. I actually tend to gravitate towards the lighter color of it and I just think the strap option of having it longer but also having it be a canvas like an actually true like fabric canvas 
is also great. And for the summertime, I think it's a great beach bag. I was recently on vacation and saw a couple people have it at the pool and it just, it looked fine there. It didn't seem out of place. It looked like a great bag to carry your essentials into the beach or the pool and you could travel with it. So that is definitely one that has been on my radar that I would consider down the line if I wanted to add a lighter color Chanel tote bag. Um, I don't know how it wears, so I can't give any insight into that. So I'd be curious to see how that wears. Um, and also like with travel bags, I tend to gravitate towards them being pre-loved because they're going to get more wear than an average bag does anyways. So those are my top favorite travel bags as of this year. If there are any new additions or if I missed any that you think I should consider for a wish list, please drop them below. But hopefully that was helpful if you guys are starting to travel like I am. I think we're kind of thinking about maybe investing in travel. So let me know what your thoughts are. Leave any comments below. And as always, super active on Instagram. If you have any questions, if you want any more details on any of the bags that I talked about today, make sure to find me there. DM me at any time at Decor and Designer. But I will talk to you guys soon.